Hey guys, this is Matt with BleepinJeep.com and today we're going to make a bastard pack rear leaf spring setup for a Cherokee. But first check out my website, BleepinJeep.com. It's got all the best off-road videos on YouTube, none of the boring stuff. We also have uh, t-shirts and merchandise there, so check it out. And don't forget to subscribe uh, right below and check out our Facebook page. Alright, so what is a bastard pack, you say? Well, a bastard pack is when you take two different uh, leaf springs from two different vehicles and you combine them together to uh, add an effect. In this case, it's going to be uh, a lift. And um, in this case, I'm using the S10 uh, leaf springs here and combining those with Cherokee leaf springs. And there's two different ways that you can do this. Well, there's a lot of ways you can do this, but I'll show you how you can do a 2-inch lift uh, all the way up to a 3-inch lift. So 2-inch or 3-inch lift on the springs and then of course you can combine that with blocks or you can combine that with um, with longer shackles to make any kind of lift that you want. So we're going to start off with the uh, 3 inch lift for my black jeep and then we're going to match that in the front. I'll probably end up with uh, about three and a half inch lift after I do the shackles um, and everything else. So let's get started. Alright, so the first step is to take your leaf packs apart and to do that we need to take these little spring clips off of here and you can just bend these off or you can cut them off if you want. We're not going to use these anymore. Alright, two more to go. Alright, so I've got all the spring clips off. Now I'm just going to use a vice grip on this side and a half inch on this side take the bolts off but before I do that I need to clamp it all together and keep it from popping loose whenever it comes apart now there's a chance that this might be uh, corroded on there real bad and in that case you can just cut it off if you need to just make sure you have that clamp on there that it doesn't pop loose on you alright now that the pin is out I can let this loose all the springs Ooh. should come apart too. Alright, now our springs are separated on the Cherokee pack. Alright, so the S10 packs uh, clips are a little different. They're a lot heavier duty and uh, I'd like to reuse those so what I'm going to do is take a crowbar and try and just bend them out of the way just enough that I can slip a leaf inside of here. Alright, now I'll release this spring as well, making sure that the C clamp is on there. Alright, so this bolt you can reuse if you'd l like to. However, I'd recommend getting some new leaf spring tie bolts. These are going to be 3 8 inch, and this one happens to be a 5 inch long. It's a little, it's way too long, but actually when you get it bolted down, then you just whack it off at the proper length. And uh, as you can see, it's going to be a little bit better than the old one. Now I can release the tension on this spring and remember that there are some spacers in between these springs and I'm going to reuse those so make sure you don't uh, lose those. Keep those in place or at least remember where they are. Alright, now I can combine the two. Okay, so here's both sets of leaf springs just like I took them off. Here's the Cherokee and here's the S10 truck. Now, this is where you're going to want to play around to get different amounts of lift. What I've found is that if you take this spring, this is the spring that you're going to use for the top, and if you put it like this here, then you're going to get about three to four inches of lift. And what you'll do is just cut off the eyelets of the S10 spring and bolt this all back together. Now, if you just want about two inches of lift, you take this out and you put the main spring of the Cherokee in there and bolt all this together here and that will give you about two inches of lift. So we're going to go for 
about three inches and we're going to put it together just like this. So what that means is I need to cut off the eyelets here first. We'll do that now. Okay, so I'm ready to mark this. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your holes are lined up and they're not. So in this case, I've got this flipped the wrong way. I'm going to flip it over like so. Now the holes line up like this. Now before you go and start marking these, remember that when this is pushed down, it's going to spread out. Uh, the bottom leaf is going to push out farther. So, on this side, I'm going to cut it all the way at the very end like that. And on this side, I've already cut one and I'm going to make the other one match. But basically it's just... What is that? About two and a half inches off the end of the eye. Otherwise, if you don't... If you cut it all the way off at the end here, it's going to stick out a couple inches past um, the Cherokee eye. So we'll take that over and we'll cut here and here. Alright, now I'll just knock off the sharp edges with the angle grinder. Alright, and there we have it. Now, just to go over that one more time, this is the main Cherokee leaf, the top Cherokee leaf, and then the entire S10 pack the whole thing and that's with the eyes cut off of the very top one. Now if you want to just go two inches remember you don't need the top S10 leaf you just need the bottom S10 leaves and the top Cherokee leaf but we're gonna go with about three to four inches here. Now all I need to do is bolt these together. But before I do that there's two more things I need to discuss and that is this. This is the Cherokee pen and this is the pen that I bought to put it back together and as you can see uh, this pen is slightly larger and it needs to be ground down before it'll fit into the hole on the axle. Ask me how I know. So what I need to do is take this over to the grinder and shave it off to match this Cherokee pen. Now the second thing is on this uh, top Cherokee leaf the hole to center everything up is slightly smaller and it needs to be enlarged to fit this bolt. And you want to make sure that you enlarge in that hole instead of just getting a smaller bolt because if you do that this will allow these other leaves to move around. You want everything to be pretty tight so just go ahead and open up that hole a bit and ground this head down. Alright, so now I can use this pen that I've ground down and use it as a guide to go through all the holes. Line everything up. Now the Cherokee pen, the Cherokee leaf, you want to make sure you get inside the clips here. And I'm probably going to have to use a C-clamp to do that. It's going to actually be a little bit of a struggle, but you can put one end in the clip down here and then bend it back on the other end. Now I just need to squeeze in the middle. A little slide in that clip. There. Now I just pound it over until it's lined up with the hole. There it is. Alright, now I'll just turn it upright, put a clamp on it, and tighten it down. Then I'll be able to tighten the centering pin.
All right, now we can pound the clips back into place. And cut off the excess of the centering pin. Now I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit. And then add a coat of paint. All right, so that was the easy part. Now you can do this on the vehicle, but I did this uh, outside of the vehicle for two reasons. One, to show you guys how it's done. And two, um, the Jeep I'm working on is a 90 and the leaf springs are pretty shot. So I, I got these uh, leaf springs from a junkyard out of a Cherokee, out of a 2001 Cherokee. So they're 11 years newer, 11 years less use. And I'd recommend doing that um, so that you get a better leaf spring. Now, the hard part's going to be putting it in, and that'll be the next video. Don't forget to check out my website, bleepinjeep.com. It's got all the best off-road videos on YouTube, none of the boring stuff. We've also got uh, tees and merchandise. And don't forget to subscribe down below, and also check out our Facebook page. I appreciate it. Leave your comments below, and we'll see you next time.